and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne and I'm going to take you for a full walk around tour of our 2018 Kia Stinger GT. It has to be said that this car is the perfect balance between luxury and a race-bred rear-wheel drive twin-turbo car. It has everything and anything you could possibly want. We're going to walk through, give you a full condition report and point out the key features that makes this car an absolute standout against its competitors. Starting at the front, you'll note it has such an aggressive style, nice low pointed front bar, has these really nice air intakes on the left hand side to keep the brakes nice and cool, got these beautiful designed headlights, you've got by Xenon headlights here, DRLs through the middle and this awesome honeycomb sort of style side indicator at the front just makes it stand out on the road compared to anything else. You've got your front camera here, which is part of the system that has the adaptive cruise control as well as the 360 camera in there. We'll walk through that once we're inside. And we've also got our colour-coded front parking sensors along here as well. Now, if we have a quick look at the paintwork, it is in excellent condition. The vehicle does have low kilometres, only 33,000. Looking at the metallic in it, it's almost a slight multi-coloured flake of metallic in there and it's in excellent condition the whole way around this car. I'm going to tell you something later on about how we can help preserve that for the lifetime of your ownership. Moving around the side, it does have 19 inch Stinger alloys with Brembo brakes. All these alloys are in excellent condition. Paintwork down this side is really clean. You've got this big chrome garnish on the side which matches nicely to those air intakes at the front and your side indicator is quite elongated along that side mirror there with the chrome housing on the back. It does have keyless entry, keyless start with a lock button on your front doors just here and it has also got tinted windows all around this vehicle as well. Again, paintwork down this side, very, very clean. You can see the reflective nature in that black pearl paintwork. It is absolutely beautiful. This back alloy wheel completely unmarked and again, Brembo brakes at the back. Rear tail lights again, much the same as the front, really long, really do stand out. And when you look at the back, again, you can see that aggressive natured design, really low down, quad exhaust tips, has such a good note under load this car. And it's also obviously coming with these personalised plates, which have a carbon fibre look to the back of them. Moving into the back, it does have an electric opening tailgate and it's got the parcel shelf in there keeping anything you have in the back here uh, secure and private. You've also got quite a lot of space for, again, what is designated probably more a sports type car than a luxury sedan. Moving in under here, we've got our jack and tools as well as the spare wheel underneath. Now again, it is going to be a space saver in underneath here because um, it does maximise the amount of room you have. Button up the top here for closing that tailgate and again, your factory reverse camera sitting just here. All badges in place as they should be. Got that beautiful shark fin aerial at the back. Again, just keeping in style with that long sweeping designed lines. Fuel cap on the passenger side here keeps it nice and out of the way. You've got, again, an unmarked alloy wheel. There is a little bit of uh, leftover tyre shine or tyre goo on there from when these tyres have just been replaced. So the car does have four brand new tyres on the vehicle as we speak. Don't worry about these marks here. They're not actually marks or scratches. It's a little bit of polish just on these hard wearing stickers. Now these are there just to protect against any little stone chips that might come as the uh, stones bounce off those front tyres there. Again, you've got your keyless entry door lock here on the passenger side as well. And again, completely unmarked paintwork as far as I can see out here. It's also got the full panoramic glass roof. And being that this car is in a beautiful pearlescent black, it just sets it off quite nicely. Now, I'll just go and open the bonnet. Now, again, moving in under here, it is a 3.3 litre twin turbo engine. Again, the power from down low all the way up to that top end is insane. It is a rear wheel drive car, so you do feel that front end elevate a bit when it's under 
high tension or high load, uh, but it does have these twin strut braces on the front which stops the front from twisting or contorting while going around corners. Again, keeping this car very well grounded in whatever circumstances you might be driving. So really, really impressively built by Kia and quite an enjoyable performance car to drive. Hey, this is where the fun really begins. Sitting inside the Kia Stinger, you'll find that it is absolutely jam-packed with every luxury component you would want. Starting on the driver's side, we've got full electrics to all four windows. You've got your door locks and your mirror controls here, all at an easy reach of the hand. You've also got a memory seat for the driver's seat, so for two drivers. We've got Harman Kardon premium sound, and again, you have to sit in the car to understand how good quality that is, but very good speakers from the factory. In behind the steering wheel here, we've got our dash illumination up and down, we've got lane departure warning, we've got blind spot warning, the electric tailgate control for in here so you can open the tailgate while the car's running, and your fuel release is just here on the dash as well. On the right hand stalk we've got our indicators and our headlight controls, obviously going to have your auto headlights on there as well, and on the left hand side we have our uh, wiper controls there too. Now, the steering wheel so much at the touch of your fingers. You've got paddle shift controls behind here for changing up and down gears. You've got your electronic controls. It is telescopic backwards and forwards as well as up and down to get that in the perfect driving position. Now in here you've got your cruise control, your adaptive cruise control, so that'll set the distance between you and the car in front. And this button here controls the information that you see on the dash. So at the moment we've just got it set to the digital speedo, which is good because you can see exactly what speed you're doing but you can change that through drive info, fuel efficiency, um, how, how far to empty, what drive mode you're in which we'll go through when we're up on the screen uh, but again most of the time we'll keep it on there. There's also a number of different features here in terms of compass, uh, tyre pressures, light settings, sound settings and then these different modes here for if you are actually trying to uh, see what it'll do on a track you've got your boost, your torque as well as your g-forces and your track times in there as well so again a huge amount of information that isn't standard to a lot of sports style cars out there got our Bluetooth and stereo controls here on the left hand side it is compatible with Apple CarPlay so you've got your voice command on here as well Again, moving to the back of the dash there, really, really easy to read. Illumination, white lights, red pinwheels, nice and easy to see how fast you're going. Car has done just over 36,000 k's, sorry. Um, and moving through, away from the steering wheel, got our push button start here. Again, jump in the car with the keys in your pocket, foot on the brake, push the button and the car fires up, ready to go. Moving on to the centre screen, it houses everything that you need, including your navigation, all your menus, once you are hooked up to Apple CarPlay, all your messages and phone display come up there, super easy to use. Flick the car into reverse, you'll see a number of different features, so you can have it so the side mirrors will uh, remember where they were in when you're reversing. You've also got your reverse camera here, as well as a full 360 degree view camera. These can be altered so you can see one single camera rather than the 360 depending on what side gutter you might be parking up or if you only like the reverse camera. My preference I like all, all three so uh, big air conditioning vents through the middle here you've got all your controls here for your radio, your navigation, um, your hazard lights down through here we've got our dual zone climate control nice and easy to use you can change temperature from left to right big fans in the middle here for fan speed, direction of air just here and front and rear there so everything at an easy touch right there in the centre console. Down underneath this nice little cover here we've got our 12 volt power socket, 3.5 auxiliary jack and USB if you are going to be using the uh, Apple CarPlay and then in here you've also got a wireless charging pad so when if you've got a phone that does actually have the wireless charging you simply put it down and it'll light up showing that that phone is now being charged. We've got twin cup holders here, got the little um, holders there which will help house it and stop the cups from moving in there. 
got both factory keys here. Again, remote central locking, keyless entry, um, and a nice design on both of these keys. The gear stick itself is really slick. It's comfortable to rest your hand on because it's quite big and flat. Um, it, it is a soft touch feel, so when you flick it into reverse, it's a tiny push forward, reverts back to that center section, pull it back down into drive, and away you go from there. To select park, you push the P button at the front, and it is an electronic handbrake, simply push down or pull up to turn it on and off. So down here in the center console behind your handbrake you have the drive mode button. Now that's got your ASP stability control, you can turn that off and also the auto hold for your braking as well. Now the drive mode itself, when you look up at the screen you turn the dial to the right or the left and it'll go from a custom mode to a sport mode, an everyday comfort mode, an eco mode for your fuel efficiency and also a smart mode as well. So the car is very intellectual in terms of which way it wants to drive and you have different settings in terms of how much power is going to be put down. Down here we've got the rest of the control so it has heated and cooled front seats. Now these are really good on a warm day like today. You flick it down to cooled seats, just enough cold air circulating to stop you from sweating on the seats. You've got your parking sensors on and off and also this button here if you are driving or reversing somewhere you can push that and it brings up the camera button on the screen there as well. Now, down here, a little bit more storage and also a decent sized centre console. Again, for a sports variant vehicle, this is very good. Again, perforated black leather throughout. Really, really neat, nice, sharp design. It's got this really nice, soft Alcantara style uh, hood lining, which is definitely a prestige style variant. And then you've also got, as I mentioned, the big sunroof in there. Once it's open, it'll open all the way up probably one of the biggest size single sunroofs you'll find on the market and multiple different settings on that too so you can either have it all the way open you note the uh, bug screen comes up and then you can also just pop it up like this and that will allow the air to circulate in throughout the car Got a sunglasses holder up here as well. Again, it does pretty much have everything that you could possibly want, along with being one of the most enjoyable rear-wheel drive turbo cars on the market right now. Thanks for taking the time to watch our walk around presentation of this Kia Stinger. I really hope you found it to be helpful and informative. Again, you can see I'm quite the fan of them. Been in the used car industry for 15 years now and I genuinely will say before considering the XR6 Turbo late model or even a SSV or a HSV, come down and understand the quality and the convenience factor of everything into this car as well as the pure enjoyment you get from driving it. I did mention that beautiful paintwork. Now, I need you to ask one of our team about hydro protection. This will give you a lifetime guarantee performance product on the outside of this vehicle to allow the condition of the car not to change over the lifetime. Guarantees against bird droppings, tree sap, UV oxidization where the paintwork goes all chalky and it's not shiny anymore. It's a lifetime guarantee. We can also treat the dash, the leather, the carpets inside, and that, that will also come with a lifetime guarantee against a number of different factors. In terms of financing, we've got Julia Mario inside, our two business managers. They'd love to have a chat to you about how we can tailor a package to suit your requirements. If you are trading a vehicle, we'd love to find out more about that as well. And again, the convenience of dealing with my team here at Berwick Mitsubishi is proven. If you look on Google, 1200 plus Google reviews sitting at 4.8 out of 5 stars from our customers Australia wide proves that while this might be the perfect car for you to buy, this is the perfect dealership to buy from. I'd love to tell you more so please give us a call on 9907 0555. Thanks again for watching.